Good evening. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today is Tuesday, June 14th. I'm going to share the video real quick while I'm waiting uh, to see that first comment. Okay, Pam, I see your comment. Can you hear me okay? I'm just sharing the link over on Facebook real quick. Good evening. Okay. I am feeling much better. Thank you. Um, yes. In fact, I felt really good yesterday. Today, I have the extreme fatigue again. But you know what? I'm not going to complain because I don't have the sore throat now. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I got a cough. <coughs> <clears throat> I don't have the sore throat anymore. I'm the little horse, um, but I'm alive and kicking. And yes, so I'm very thankful. Uh, as I mentioned on my blog, I was actually terrified of of getting COVID since my aunt passed away with it. Um, but. I got it. I'm alive. So I'm very thankful. And thank you all for all your prayers. I appreciate appreciate them. Um, yeah, so I'm here. I'm, I'm so behind on everything. I, see, it seems like I'm always saying that I'm behind. And now it's just like, oh my gosh, I just lost another week of my life. But I'm alive. So <laughs> I'm going to count my blessings instead of... Um, worrying about everything else. So yeah, I'm, I, I'm, look, don't I have some really cute projects for you tonight? So we're going to make both of these little baskets. This one's the little apple crate and we're going to call this one the guinea pig uh, basket. So they're super cute. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started because I am extremely exhausted. <laughs> I mean like the life has been sucked out of me. So we're going to try to have some fun tonight. I'm sorry I don't have any jokes. I should have looked for them. But to be honest, I didn't. I completely forgot until like two minutes ago when it was absolutely too late. And someone actually sent me a link um, to some cow jokes, which were so funny. And I forgot to print them. But anyway, y'all were here for the project, right? So um, here are the measurements. I will show this again. Uh, on the screen as we get further down the line uh, making the project. So instead of reading everything out, I thought I would just print it for you. And now you have it. Okay. Um, housekeeping notes. We'll do that in the middle of the video. I'll do like a little commercial break and cover all of that. So we're going to start with the little apple crate. And I've gone ahead and done a little bit of die cutting in advance um, just because it's a lot of die cutting and I don't want to be here all night since um, I've had the life sucked out of me. No, <laughs> that's a good term, right? For those of you that have had COVID, it's like the life has been sucked right out of us. It's just like the fatigue is crazy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stamp our images and we need two clusters of the um, apples. So I've got that here and then one greeting. Let me show you the stamps that we're using tonight. We're using the cheerful basket bundle. We're using the charming sentiments bundle. Now before somebody says anything, I have a free PDF over on my website and it's really awesome. And what I did was I cut it out and put it on my magnet sheet. And so it's free. It's over on my blog. Yeah, so it's free. So there's no mention of any other demonstrators on my channel tonight, please. I have a free PDF for you. And yeah, it's really nice. So that's how we're going to um, cut out the um, 
This greeting right here is using the, now I've already forgot the name of it again, the sentiment uh, the Sentiment Silhouettes and the Sentiment Silhouette Stamp Set. Is that the right thing? It's called the Charming Sentiments Bundle. Anyway, and that's on both of these. So that's the greeting on both of these. Don't you just love this guy? Um, and then we're also using Glad We're Friends for the Little Guinea Pig. So you could use these greetings. You don't have to use this one if this is not your favorite set. But I figured since I was using it with the apples, then we might as well use it with the Glad Your Friend We're Friends stamp set. Okay? And if there's any questions, you guys are welcome to uh, post them. Um, yeah, if there's any um, questions, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm reading comments. Um, so Kathy asked, did any of my other Stampin' Friends get it too? Absolutely. I think... I counted like 15 or 16 or 17. So yeah, um, a bunch of us got it. <laughs> a bunch of us, yeah. You know, I was triple vaccinated, so I felt pretty safe in going. Um, but I think somebody said on the news several months ago that eventually we're all going to have it, um, whether we wanted it or not. And I really, really had hoped that to never get it because I was so afraid I was going to die. Um, and I didn't, thank God. I can be a little dramatic. Y'all know that. Y'all have known me for, many of y'all have known me for a long time. I am dramatic. And I say, as a woman, I can be dramatic. I mean, at, <laughs> I guess men could be dramatic too. But, anywho. Okay, so that's the stamping for that. And now we're going to do some coloring. Um, I'm using Granny Apple Green for the leaves. And then I'm using, who almost dropped that, real red. <laughs> oh gosh, Chris, I'm so sorry. So Chris said she lost two friends to COVID. Yeah, I lost my aunt and, and, um, and it happened on her birthday. So she passed on her birthday. It's something that we will never recover from. So Chris, I'm sorry you lost two friends. I think a lot of people have lost. Some people that don't take it very seriously didn't lose anyone. Uh, but in my in my uh, family, um, we, we have a friend that lost a family member. And then, of course, my aunt. So... Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to um, get this um, coloring done and I'm not going to look up at comments for a few minutes. So I will look back before I sign off tonight and um, check all the comments and see if I missed any of your questions. And I'm sitting down tonight because like I said, I normally stand and do everything. I normally don't sit and stamp. In fact, I kind of struggle sitting and stamping, but um yeah, since COVID has zapped me, um, <laughs> I don't have a choice. In fact, y'all know I, I have a trouble. I have trouble sleeping, and it's because my brain never shuts off. And you know, I share this all the time that if I wake up in the middle of the night, I can't go back to sleep because my brain starts thinking about all the stuff I want to do or all the stuff I need to do. Well, when you get COVID, that is not the case. In fact, I slept until eight fifteen today. And I honestly, when I got up, um, I could have just gone right back to bed. I'm just absolutely exhausted. Oh, <sighs> yeah. I'm, I'm so tired I can hardly breathe. And don't worry, I have checked my oxygen level. So I am okay. I did get the whatever that little meter thingy is. So I'm fine. Um, but <laughs> I, I bought several of those when COVID first started because I've heard that uh, your oxygen level is, some people, that's why they, they, they passed, was their oxygen level got so so low. Um, okay, so what can I talk about positive? Well, I'm alive. No. Actually, I'm on season 10 of Heartland, so I've been in bed so much that I have all made it all the way to um, season 10. And I have to tell y'all, um, Brooke, y'all know that Brooke... Sorry, I'm going to rattle. 
I'm just going to run a while I call her. Um, Brooke is moving home. She got a teaching job locally. And the other night, you know, when you watch Heartland, if any of y'all are watching it, it's just such a beautiful show and beautiful horses, kind, kind people. I love the kindness. Um, but I got to thinking, Brooke's coming home. What's something that she and I can do together um, when she comes home? And so I thought, well, well, we can start taking, we can start riding horses. Because I, I grew up with horses. My dad was a horse trainer. My granddaddy was a horse trainer. I'm not the best horse, I'm not the best rider. Because I'm scared of them. And horses can sense that. In fact, and I'm very clumsy. So the last time I rode a horse, I almost fell off. My dad still tells that story to this day. How he don't know how I didn't fall off. Because my arms and legs and everything were straight up in the air. Anyway, so I was thinking, Brooke and I are going to start riding horses. That's something that we could do. That She she took riding lessons back when she was in uh, middle school, high school, whatever. She really loved it. Uh, we just didn't, she just didn't have the time to continue. Um, and then one of my old neighbors in our old neighborhood, she's been riding horses now for about five years. And I think she grew up riding horses as well. She fell and broke her hip and said she's retiring from writing. And her post on Facebook, I just pretty much sobbed because she loves riding. She loves her horse. But she's like me. We're no spring chicken. And she has been down with this broken hip, etc. And I'm like, okay, wait a second. She's been riding horses for all these years and she fell and broke a hip. And me with my two left feet that's always falling and hurting myself. I got no business riding horses. So I thought about that for a whole whopping 24 hours and then abandoned it. <laughs> so now I'm still looking for something for Brookie and I to do. Um, not that we need anything to do because we like going to the park and playing Pokemon Go. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to die cut these out and let me show you... Um, the dies that we're using tonight. So this is from, let me pull up the name so I get the names right. So this is from the full basket dies. Everything except for the two greetings. And the two greetings is from the <laughs> sentiment silhouette dies. Um, and so here's how I'm, I'm storing my dies now. So remember how I told y'all that I make a copy of my dies the minute they come in. I photocopy them on my scanner. And then what I did was I just cut it out and it sticks right to the magnet sheet if you put if you put the die on top of it. So I didn't glue it down. I just put the, the magnet right on top of it. So this this piece right here is just supposed to be right here. But because I've got this piece on here, I wanted that to hold the paper in place. So anyway, there's that, and then I've already shown you these two. So I'll make sure on the blog post with this project that I'm making tonight, I'll make sure I include the link uh, to this PDF. It is already over there on my blog. I've already mentioned it a couple times, but I just wanted to make sure I mentioned it again. Okay, so here's the apples. We're going to cut those out. I feel like I'm talking a lot. But that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> or not. Okay, I'm going to go back to using my little post-it note tape because I don't know if y'all saw the uh, magnetic cutting plate was having some quality control issues. And uh, it got pulled again. So... So sorry for those of you that missed out on it. Um, yeah. Okay, I hope I can do this setting down. Oh, I forgot to ask y'all, is, is the lighting okay? Okay, there's the first one. Isn't that beautiful? And then we're going to cut out the second one. I did a pretty decent job of coloring that too, didn't I? I gotta remove this tape so I can see what I'm doing. 
I don't want to speak too soon. I want to cut this one good too. If I don't, this will be the back one. <coughs> Sorry, that's a terrible, awful cough. David has more of a cough than I do. I think mine's still kind of stuck in my chest or something. I don't know. Okay, here's the other one. And then now for the greeting. If I mess this up, I already cut one in advance just in case. You have to place this one just perfectly. And... Um, what I my advice on this one is that I raise it up above the word and then bring it down. Hopefully that makes sense. And I may still mess up, but like I said, I cut one in advance just in case because I figure I could mess up tonight. Not too bad. Okay. You could cut that in a circle if you wanted to. So now I'm going to make sure that I don't lose my die. I'm going to put it back on my sheet. And then we'll move this out of the way. Now I know why I stand. I move much quicker. Get all of our pieces in here. Oh, grr. You know what? Actually, let me just take it from the other kit. So you're going to need two of these. And your sheet's going to look like... Um, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. So when you make this, your sheet's going to look like this. So this is a 6x6 six six craft paper. And you're going to cut out two of each of these. So that would be two of this one, two of this one, and two of this one. We will be cutting this for the next for the next box. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, this, and then I need three of these. One, two. Three. Okay, I'll put this in here to remind me to cut that for the next for the next basket. So I need my silicone craft sheet. Ooh, I need my cutting cart. Okay, I'm gonna look for questions just really quick just to see if I'm missing anything. Um Kimberly said, did I have any problems with my magnetic cutting plate? I did not, and I used it for all uh, 80 swaps that I made uh, when I went to Utah. I didn't have any issues at all. Um, yeah, I didn't have any, but a couple of my downline did. So, yeah. And you know what? This is the perfect time to do a little housekeeping really quickly. So, again, um... Let me slide this over. So Chick Candy 143 was posted over on my blog yesterday. I'll go through this really quickly. So it does include this fabric basket that I made. This is the Bonnie and Camille fabric one fine day. I bought 15 yards of this and 15 yards of the inside. So I'm going to be making a lot of these. So you'll see you'll see this basket again. Um, it also includes the Nature's Prints stamp set, the Natural Prints dies, and a little sample of the Sun Prints designer series paper, and a chick stand. So to enter to win, you can leave a comment over on the blog post that advertises this, or you get two entries for every $50 you order between June 13th and June 21st. So because I am on YouTube, I, just, I also have to remind you that this um, this contest or giveaway is not sponsored by YouTube, and I'm solely responsible for it. Okay, 
So there's that. And if you watched the video yesterday, it's not a public video. It's a private, or not private, it's unlisted. You leave a comment on that too, you get another entry. So I might make it live. I don't know. I kind of have mixed emotions about that. So if you guys wonder, uh, the link to it is on the blog. Okay. So now let's get our liquid glue and we're going to start gluing this together. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to add, um, let me assemble it really quick so you can see. So that's going to go there and this one's going to go here and then this one is going to go up here. Okay, so I'm just going to get my liquid glue started. This would be the perfect time to tell a joke if I had a joke. Grr. So we can talk about the weather though. Holy smokes. Is it as hot there as it is here? It is like, well I don't have my watch on, but the heat index, I think last night when we were having dinner, uh, the heat index was like 105 or 106. It's going to be that way all week. It's like we go from cold to extreme hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, that part's done. So now we're going to attach that to, to that part. There was no way I was going to show my face today. I have not washed my hair in quite a few days. And <laughs> this is not a compliment. But Dave this morning was like, you know you look like Aunt V, don't you? With my, my hair all um, balled up on the top of my head. I'm like, well, dude, I haven't felt good. I, I took like four baths a day every day uh, when I was sick because... It was about the only time I felt good, like in the bathtub, soaking in the really hot water. Um, so, yeah, I took lots and lots and lots of baths with Epsom salt and bacon soda, which is good for your skin and your aches and pains. So, again, this is the Cheerful Basket Bundle. And it's in the annual catalog. Um, the holiday catalog does not launch until July 1st. I did get my pre-order, um, but it arrived when I was sick. And um, it's it has finally been unboxed, but that's about as far as I got. <laughs> Plus, it don't go live until July 1st, so we still got some time. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to attach it to this. Oh, I was going to look for comments and then I didn't. Did I? I need to look for comments. Okay, our baskets are done with the exception of we need to add the handle to them. So I'm just going to turn it over and add some liquid glue. You could use the um, adhesive sheets if you wanted to. Okay. I'm using my take your pick tool just to get a handle on, of it, on it. Or to pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So Nancy says this is her first time here. Hi Nancy. Welcome. Okay, there's that one. Now we're going to add the handle to the other one. You don't have to ha add a handle to the other one because technically it's the back of of the um, come on it's the back of it and of course these things don't have two handles but 
that's okay. We want it to look good from both sides. So Okay, now there's that. And we're going to go ahead and decorate the front before we even assemble it. So that way it's done. So let, which one of these looks the best? They both look pretty good. So we're going to take two of the leaves. And this is the same set of dies. So I'm just going to attach them together like that. Okay, and then the greeting I'm going to attach with a little mini dimensional. So I'm going to take my take your pick tool, put that in the middle, and then I'm going to pick up some liquid glue here for this one, and I want it hanging over just a smidge. And then add this. Actually, I want to bring it over just a little bit more. Okay, smush it. <laughs> and then for these, I'm going to add a little bit more liquid glue and then add it. So just a drop. I feel like I'm performing surgery here. And I'm just going to slide it under there into where I want it. And that looks good right there. So then I'm going to smush it. Okay, now let's make our box and then we'll add the apples. So we'll get all this out of the way. Close this up for the time being and get the Simply Scored Scoring tool out. Okay, so I'm going to place this on my Simply Scored scoring tool. This piece measures uh, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Now, I will tell you, this is the craft paper. It comes six by six. It is a little wonky wonk when, you, when it comes to uh, scoring it. You can jump your track really easily. So feel free to use some wax paper. You just rub it over your paper, and that makes it slide like butter. That would have required me going upstairs, and I don't have the energy, so I'm just going to go slow. I meant to grab it earlier, but I forgot. So, one and three quarters. One and three quarters. One and three quarters. And one and three quarters. We're going to do this again on the other one, but right now we're just making the first one. <coughs> okay, um, now we're going to fold on the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. I'm going to have to get a sip of water. Hold on a second. I have it right here beside me. Okay, that was more than a sip. Maybe that was a guzzle. Hopefully y'all didn't hear it. Whew, that's the other thing. I have been extremely thirsty. I think that might be a side effect of that Paxlovid that I took. Okay, so here's how it looks right now. You've got your nine blocks or squares in there and what I'm going to do is cut up to the score line on both sides and then I'm going to do the same thing parallel on the other side okay so see how it looks I'm going to cut up to the score line And then what I'm going to do is cut from this point to this edge. I'm going to whack off half of that, okay? So I'm just going to, and you could use your trimmer if you wanted it to be exactly perfect. Um, but 
it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to go from point to point, okay? So that's how it's going to look. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. That's how it looks. So technically there's not really a template for this because that's so super simple. You're just cutting the corners out and then we're just going to bring this over, bring these in just like that and this is our little box. Okay so I'm going to open this back up and I'm going to put adhesive on those four corners that I just cut and I'm just going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus to make it a little bit quicker and easier. I'm using my silicone mat because um, the Stamp and Seal Plus adhesive works really well when you use this silicone craft sheet. It's magical, right? Okay, here's our box. And then now we're gonna add this to the front. Isn't it just so cute? Oh, I love this stuff. So I'm gonna add my liquid glue to the front right here. And then add that right there. And I'm just gonna hold it for a second and let it dry. And then I'm going to add the one on the back. So, same thing. I'm going to hold it for a second and let it dry. And then we're going to add our apples. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the apples in between the box and the basket. Okay? So, I'm just going to add just a thin line of adhesive right here on the edge and I'm not going all the way to the edge of the apples I'm just doing it in the middle because that's where that box begins and ends is kind of in just a little bit hopefully that makes sense see if you look hopefully you can see that looks good don't it okay now the other one the back side and then I'm going to show you some candy that fits in there before we make the second one. <clears throat> uh oh I think my liquid glue is starting to run out. Okay again I'm just sliding it between the um, the box and the basket. Yeah Okay, now, I have a little um, tub of candy. For In this one, I just put crinkle paper, um, which makes it look so cute. But it does hold. So here's the Hershey Kisses. And you can see you could probably fit uh, six in there. It hold, That's the Hershey Nuggets. And the Hershey Kisses, uh, that's three four, five, it'll hold a whole lot more. Yeah, so quite a few. It'll also hold these fruit chews, Werther's, mm, I love those things. Somebody told me to, uh, to eat those when I had a sore throat. And then the high chews, of course, will fit in there. Um, they're a little big. Rolos and Hershey. I'm not sure what those are called. Yeah. Okay. So the box measures uh, one and three quarters by one and three quarters. Okay. Let's put some crinkle paper in there and then we will uh, make the second one with the little guinea pigs. 
cute. Right? Do y'all love it? Now let's make this fun one. Um, I got to clean up for just a second. Um, yeah, I got to clean up for just a second. Now, here's our next packet. We'll slide one of these out of the camera view so that we can focus on the next one. So this time we're going to stamp three guinea pigs. I just love this stamp set. Y'all already know I like all the animal stamp sets. So, whew, good, goodness gracious. Um, yeah, I love all the animal stamp sets. I'm going to use them as often as possible without driving y'all crazy. We have some cute ones now, don't we? Okay. Sorry, I had to take a deep breath. And then now the greeting, which says, hey there. I do say hey there a lot. And hey y'all. Um, now we're going to color with light petal pink and crumb cake light and gray granite. Is this gray granite? Yes, gray granite light. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to color... Uh, two with crumb cake well I don't know <laughs> maybe I messed up on my other one I wasn't supposed to put two of them side by side uh, with the same color but oh well not the end of the world so this is petal pink I had to turn my fan on for just a second if not I might pass out and then now I'm going to use gray granite David, when I got up this morning, he said that the news has said that we have to turn our air on 75 or we're going to have rolling blackouts tonight. And I'm like, what? 75? We normally keep it on 71. And, uh, and he said, but I turned it on 73. And I'm like, 73? That's still too hot. And he's like, well, do you want to have blackouts? I'm like, no. So I agreed to 73, but... It's hotter than a biscuit in this house now because the sun is shining right now, right in our, um, on the whole back side of our house. Okay, I'm almost done with these two. Then I just have one more. So these two are gray granite, and then this one's going to be crumb cake. Aren't they so cute? We never had a guinea pig. They they a little bit I, I just couldn't have rodents in the house. I I was a I, I we had fish, we had birds, we had dogs, but I couldn't do reptiles or rodents. I just couldn't do it. Um they kind of stink. And if you have one, I'm so sorry. I know they're very cute. But I have sensory issues, and smells are <laughs> smells are a sensory. <laughs> um, but they're cute. Yeah, if, if they didn't smell, I would love to have one. So for this, for these little guys, they don't have a die. So I'm gonna fussy cut them. But they're pretty easy to fussy cut. But I am gonna stop talking because I feel like I always mess up if I'm talking. So we're gonna have. A moment of silence. There's one. Ruh row. I already messed this one up. It's okay. This is the one that will cut half of them off. Well, 
not really. I didn't mess them up. There's two. Last one. How's that? Pretty good, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, Gina says, was I feverish at all? I was actually feverish. I had the chills. In fact, so last Tuesday night uh, was the last time I went live, and I told y'all I had a sore throat. Well, that night, in the middle of the night, we had a tornado in the area, and the tornado sirens were going off. It woke. I was already awake. But I had to go wake David because his phone, for whatever reason, did not go off. So when I was running through the house trying to get him and Bella in a, in a perfect spot for a tornado, I had to have like two blankets because I was absolutely freezing. I When I was standing in the bedroom screaming at David to get out of bed and come on downstairs, I was literally shaking. I, I had the chills so bad. I mean like physically shaking. Um so yes, I did. I did have a fever on and off. Um, I had the chills more than I had a fever, whatever that means. But yeah, I would just, it's crazy how stuff like that works, right? Okay, so now we're going to cut out the greeting. Even though I have one in advance, I'm going to attempt to cut it out. And we do need to cut the other side of our um, basket out. So let me slide everything over. And get the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I hopefully, hopefully I didn't call this the wrong name earlier. I might have called it the old machine. Who knows? I could see myself doing that. <coughs> <coughs> okay, we're gonna cut this one out. And this, I have the same advice on this one as 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 well as the other one, is that when you go to line it up, where did I put my post-it tape? Um, bring it just above the line, like bring it right above so you can see the, the card stock, and then slide it down into position. And that should work, hopefully. Does that make sense? So where's my other three? How'd I do? Not as good as I wanted to, but that's okay. I have one already cut out, so we'll use the, the one that I cut in advance. So now let's cut our other basket and we're going to do all three of these pieces right row this paper bows a little bit just roll it oh I don't want to lose that okay one two one to three Uh oh. Wait. Oh, Grr. See, this is where that magnetic cutting plate would be so helpful. And I could use it, but. Okay, did I do something wrong? I did. This paper's sticking out. Okay, now. Uh, Chris asked if I'm going to see my daddy. No, I had to cancel my trip. So, for those of you that are not familiar with the antiviral drugs that they can give you for COVID, there is a slight chance that you could have a recurrence in 10 days. And 10 days would be smack dab in the in the middle of when I would be in Tennessee to see daddy uh, for Father's Day weekend. So initially when I called him last week and said, you know, I have COVID, I was like, for sure my trip is canceled. 
But then a couple days ago, when I finally started testing negative, I started feeling guilty. And I called Daddy and I said, I just feel, I feel so terrible. What do you want me to do? What do you prefer? And, and he said, it now is not the time. You know, and again, it was, it was Daddy's sister that passed, that, that got COVID and, and passed. And so we're all a little sensitive to it. And I couldn't handle it if I had a, a recurrence and then gave it to my dad. Like I just, yeah. So we made the decision to delay the trip and, uh, it will, I'll go and visit, um, later this year. Yeah. It's just not meant to be. We just say, you know, we give it to God and it just isn't meant to be. So I am a, a little sad about it, but He's not upset. I'm not upset. Like we, we, we tried and it just, it didn't work. My sister said, are you canceling the trip completely? You're not even coming. I'm like, no, I will be there, but I'm not sure when, like this was, it was supposed to be the perfect time to go when things were a little calmer. Um, I just need to find another week that is calmer. And y'all know I'm expecting my first grandchild um, this year and she is due September 4th. So wait, I'm doing this backwards. I want to add, Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have one more step. I want to show y'all. So for this one, because it's got animals, um, I almost missed a step. So what I'm going to do is do a little sponging on this because I wanted it to look a little dirty, you know, like a little, like a little, um, I know this is not a pig pen, but I just wanted it to look like a little animal cage where it was a little dirty. So I'm going to take my crumb cake ink and sponge on some crumb cake. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like it's just not the right time. Like it's, it just, it just is not meant to be, right? Okay, crumb cake ink. And I'm just going to start kind of off and then kind of brush it on. And like I said, I want it, I purposely want it to look a little dirty. I think that's pretty good right yeah that's good okay so blending brushes crumb cake ink I'm talking through my nose now you can tell I need to call for oh um let me start with the bottom the bottom piece is the easiest There's that one, and now this one. So some of our really good friends that live in East Tennessee, um, they're friends that David grew up with. He went to school with them. Both he and his wife have COVID at the same time as us. So we've been texting and talking to them. It's like, what in the world? We have all managed to stay clear of it all this time. Um, and then now we all four have it. Crazy, crazy. I think, I, I think I said this earlier too. I think when it's all said and done, we're all gonna, we're all gonna have had, had it. There's probably no way of escaping it. Just hopefully that vaccination kept me from getting it. And the antiviral that I took. Sorry, I probably shouldn't talk about it anymore, right? I should have downloaded some jokes. Y'all should have seen Bella. I've got some pictures of her. She laid in bed with me every day. She slept with David at night because I was up so much. I couldn't have her in bed with me because I literally was up every hour. Um, yeah, every hour. And I couldn't sleep with her. I couldn't. I already wasn't sleeping, but during the daytime, as soon as she got up, 
and Dave fed her. Then she came downstairs and climbed in bed with me. <laughs> she was so funny. Put she put her little head on my leg, uh, just just slap right there next to me. Even when I would go and take a bath, because like I said, I took four baths a day. Uh, she would go in the bathroom and lay on the floor, lay on the rug while I was in there. She's such a good puppy. Although she'll be 11 in September. Can you believe that? Okay, so there's that one. All we have left to do is add the handle. And then we are almost done. <clears throat> okay. I hear Bella outside my room now. She's probably wondering why the door is closed. I wonder if she's going to bark. Hi, Roo Roo. We call her, we have lots of nicknames for her. Um, Bella, Bella Roo, Miss Bella, Tatanka. Um, what else do we call her? Roo Roo. When she runs, a lot of times it, we call her a little buffalo because she <laughs> she's like a little tank. Okay. I got glue all over my fingers now, but it's okay. Hold that for a second. Like I said, I could have used the uh, adhesive sheets, but I didn't want to. Okay, so for this one, we're going to add, let's see, which one looks the best? Which one's going to be the front of our basket? They both look the same. So I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to attach it to the front with a mini glue dot just to make my life easier. I'm not popping it up this time because I'm adding the um, the linen thread bow. And hopefully I have the linen thread with me. Oh, I do. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think I did. What's my time? Oh, goodness gracious, I've almost been in here an hour. I had no clue. Sorry. I thought I was stamping fast. <laughs> okay, so just gonna make this bow teeny tiny. That's not tiny. I need to trim it some more. Every time I do this, I think about Jamie, one of my friends. We, we were, I think we were in Texas. We were in Texas or Tennessee. And we kept, we, it was almost like a contest of, of getting the smallest bow we could possibly get with twine. It was so fun. Okay, so I'm going to add the little wadded up glue dot right there. And then add my little teeny tiny bow. Isn't that cute? Now, we're going to make the box really quick. It won't take me long, I promise. Um, especially since you've already seen me make it. So again, we're going to score this at one and three quarters on all four sides. And if you struggle, just rub your uh, craft paper with wax paper. It does not want to glide very easily. <laughs> I'm being dramatic, but it is true. Okay, where to put my bone folder? There it is. So fold on the score lines, burnish with your bone folder. 
This bundle is so darling. Both of them. So we've got the Cheerful Basket, the Charming Sentiments, and the Glad We're Friends. So yeah, we're using multiples tonight. Okay, so again, I'm cutting up to the score line on both sides. And then parallel to that, I'm doing the exact same thing. I will have a diagram on your printable that will be available tomorrow. And give me, give me the whole day. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Give me the whole day. But um, it's probably going to take me that long to get pictures and everything because I didn't do any of that today. I just got these made. And yeah, I'm moving the pace of a snail. But I will make sure that the diagram for this box is on the free printable. By the way, I've updated my printable so that it actually will print with all the information on it. Nobody told me that the thing was printing without all the information on it. I had no clue that my printable was too big and that it had to be uh, scaled down to fit all on, on the page. So... Someone finally told me, and I've corrected it, so I have changed the printable just a smidge so that all the information prints. Yes, I had no clue. It didn't, it didn't show me on the PDF that it wouldn't print to an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So, yeah, I was uh, clueless. If you, I think, I think if you clicked scale it to size it worked just fine so maybe some of y'all did that uh, but for some some people don't know how to do that on their printers so they didn't know okay there's our box again let me get this glue off here so now we're going to add this one to let's see hmm. I'm looking at this and I'm like it looks like it's a little taller this time. I don't know. Maybe it's my vision. Or maybe I didn't cut the paper to measure five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Who knows? Okay, there's that one. And then we'll do the back side. And wait, I'm going to use the liquid glue. And so we have three of these. So we're going to add this dude here and this dude over here and then this one here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of slide these in place. And you can add more liquid glue if you want to keep them in there. <laughs> and this one I'm just going to whack off a little bit. Ouch. No, I'm kidding. Um, isn't that so cute? And I'm going to put a little bit of crinkle paper in there. Y'all already saw what fit in there. And if you're just now happen upon us, if you rewind the video when it's done, uh, you can see all the different candies that fit in there. So... Here is all four of the baskets, and I'm going to hold up, let's see, here's my, this host code's only good through the end of the night. I need to post a new one tomorrow, um, and where's my measurement sheet that I said I was going to show y'all again? I bet that rascal fell on the floor. What do you want to bet? Let's see. Ugh. It did. And I don't find it. I don't see it. I mean, <laughs> I don't find it. I think it. I think it slid under my island. And I saw something fly earlier, but I uh, didn't didn't know what it was. So now I know it was the measurements. Okay, so I'm gonna look at questions now. So for those of you that uh, need to skedaddle, I'm done with the presentation. But I'm gonna take a few minutes and look back and see if I can answer everyone's questions. I'm going to click on live chat so that 
I can see everything. You're very welcome, and thank you guys <clears throat> so much for being here tonight. I appreciate it, even though I'm not on my A game. Uh, let's see. I'm feeling better. Yes, I'm feeling much better. Thank you. Uh, who? How was that? Was Sunny? Yes, Sunny. I'm feeling much better. Um. So the the printables were supposed to be multiple pages, but the very bottom of the page was getting cut off when people were printing it. So like at the very bottom, it said, uh, "Click here to watch video. Uh, click here to, uh, for the blog post." That very bottom part of the PDF was getting cut off. So that's what was not working was just that bottom part of my PDF was not was not printing. Yeah. Um, what is the pink thing that you have in your take your pick tool? That is a finger protector when you're using a hot glue gun. So when I got these in, because I, I use a hot glue gun fairly often, but I ordered these finger protectors so I won't burn my finger. But when I got it in, that thing was so tight, it would cut the circulation off my finger. So I put it on the end of my take your pick tool to stretch it out. And then I'm like, well, hey, I kind of like the look of that. So I left it. Yeah. So it's just a, a finger protector to keep you from burning, <coughs> <coughs> to burn your finger. Yeah. Um... Let's see. Yes, dogs are great companions. Uh, Catherine's son was due on September 4th, but he waited until the 8th. Wow. Um, oh my gosh, Kathy said that her daughter was given a guinea pig and it was pregnant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, how well would it work to weave the thin bits into the slotted pieces? You actually probably should do that, but for me, it was just going to be way too much for my brain. So if you think about baskets, we technically should be weaving these pieces. Um, yeah, we should be weaving them. I don't even have to do my fingers like that. Y'all know weaving. I'm not doing it though. But yes, your basket will look better. It'll look more like a basket. I called mine a crate. <laughs> um, not that that makes any difference. But yes, absolutely. Weave it and it'll work. It'll look like it's supposed to. But I take the easy way sometimes. And yeah, I cheat. It's not cheating technically. It's just finding an easier way, right? Um. The guinea pigs are very easy to fussy cut. They're super, yeah, some images we have are not easy to fussy cut, but those were really easy. It's not my favorite thing to do either, but the guinea pigs were easy. Um, holy smoke, Shauna says they keep their AC at 78. Oh, I would die at 70. <laughs> Sorry, that's dramatic. No, I would die at 78. In fact, at nighttime, I turn it down to like 67, 68, sometimes 69. I'm whispering because I don't want him to hear me. But yeah, sometimes I get up in the middle of the night and turn it down. Hey, I'm over 50. Those of us that are over 50, we get really hot at night. Um, Joy says, totally love the hippos and the celebration and the dyes. Me too, me too. Uh, and I thought about showing those tonight, but it's, they're not they're not going to be available till July. So I'm holding off at least another week um, before I start using that product. Yeah. But yes, they are so cute. We have so many cute animal sets coming up. Um, okay, I'm still looking at the comments just to see if I've missed anything. And I think, I think... Um, I think I answered a bushel basket, not woven. <laughs> is that what this is, is? A bushel basket, not woven? I don't know. <laughs> I'm laughing because I really don't know. Um, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on top chat. I don't think. 
Okay, Patty, thank you for making me feel better. I'm not the only one that <laughs> that puts the air on really low. Yeah, even like right now, I feel like I'm like breaking out in a sweat. Don't my, don't my arms look like I'm sweating? It's really hot in here. Of course, I also have on like 16 lights, so that makes it um, even warmer in here. Okay, I'm going to do one last call. Um for any questions that you have and while I'm waiting to just make sure there's not any more questions I'll remind you that there will be a free PDF that will have all the measurements a little picture of the diagram of the box it's super simple um, it'll be on my website tomorrow which will be Wednesday June 15th just give me like most of the day to get it done um, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and Enter to win Chick Candy 143. Yeah, she's right. A bushel basket is not woven. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Because I'm like, I know those uh, slits were in there for a reason. Um, but man, could you imagine? Well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. It would look really cute. But I just think this little guy is so cute. Okay, you guys have a great night. Uh, I My next scheduled live video will be next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Um, unless I get a wild hair and decide to go live and show y'all my catalog haul. I, technically, I never showed y'all the retiring items from the mini catalog. So like I said, I'm, I'm so behind on everything. So maybe I'll get both of those done this week. Maybe. Yeah, no promises. Otherwise, I'll see you next Tuesday. Okay, thank y'all. Good night.